Mr. Laszlo Bartha is an ethologist, who has been breeding and working with large livestock guardian shepherd dogs with decades. In the past 15 years he has lived in Sakiafold, which is situated in eastern Transylvania. This small region is very special in our days, as on this small region, there are more wolves and bears are living wildly and freely than in whole Western and Central Europe combined. In this region it is completely prohibited to hunt, or kill these predators, only livestock guardian shepherd dogs can keep them away from the sheep flocks that are gazed in big numbers in the mountainous pastures where they are gazing. These dogs work like as if they were living in the age when shepherd dogs were invented and used in big numbers. Mr. Bartha, and what is your opinion about the two classic, in quotes, LGD dogs that were created in Russia, and became well known around the world? The Caucasian Shepherd and the Central Asian Shepherd breeds? My opinion is that these names are artificial names, which were created by the Russians. Caucasian Shepherd, Central Asian Shepherd, of course these were created by the Russians, and we know it, as they wrote it down several times by themselves. Of course I am not a historian or a political science researcher, but we know that as the Russian, and later the Soviet Empire grew, they annexed several Central Asian territories and nations, including the Caucasian region. As it always happened, they began to collect good dogs in these regions and transport them towards the western part of the Russian Empire, towards Moscow, it is a very interesting notion, or call it observation from my part, that in general, people, or nations from mountainous regions are more hard, or aggressive. I do not know the reason for this, but I always experienced it, even in Transylvania, where I live. In my region it is a general saying that if you go further up the hill, you find more tough guys than in the plateau. Maybe the reason for this is that woodcutting is one of the hardest work among all, and that woodcutters work with axes constantly, which, in a way, can be considered as a dangerous weapon, let's think about the medieval pheasant revolts. I do not know and of course I do not want to talk about sociological aspects of history. As aggressive men like aggressive dogs, as an analogy to this, the shepherd dogs of the Caucasian region could be more aggressive than that of the other regions, like the southern steppes, etc. At that time the Russians thought that from these dogs, they will build up a superb, strong and aggressive guard dog type or breed. On the basis of this, you understand why the name, Caucasian Shepherd is not only artificial, but it is incorrect and wrong as well. The Russians began to deal with these dogs, bred them, mixed them, formulated them for decades and in the Soviet period there was even a state-financed period in the so-called, state-owned Red Star Kennel. That is how they created a breed that has become known all over the world and sold a lot of them worldwide. In a way, we can say that this program has become a world success. From the first moment they bred and formulated this breed as a tough guard dog and not as a shepherd or LGD dog. What we, who deal with livestock guardian dogs do not understand that why they called and constantly call as Caucasian shepherd dog when they are not shepherd dogs. Why did not they call them for example Moscow or Russian guard dogs, or whatever, that reflects their usability. With this name they deceived whole Western Europe, or maybe half of the world. A lot of people who wanted to have shepherd dogs, bought Caucasians, as it was in their name that they are LGD dogs. Transylvanian shepherds also bought a lot of them, and when these dogs began to work, 9 out of 10 failed immediately on the field where there were predators. Up until now no real experts understand why the Russians gave this name to these dogs. They have a misleading name, their standard is very far from that of the good shepherd dog ones. What you have to understand that the Russians, who began to deal with these old shepherd type of aggressive dogs, bred these dogs to become good and effective guard and military dogs, who are aggressive, and do not fear from anything. Military and guard dogs, serving in gulags in big numbers, guarding life-threatening criminals and military objects. It is okay and they have all rights to do this and formulate a dog like this, this is all right. But these dogs should not have been called and should not be called shepherd dogs or LGDs. LGD dog have to be cautious, have to keep the distance from the predators because if they do not, they die in days after beginning to work. What can a hyper-aggressive dog do against a bear for example, if he is not cautious? Dying in minutes. I have seen a case, when one Caucasian male was tied to a pole near a soccer ball field, where 11 players were training. As the dog was barking a lot, they wanted to frighten him, and in quotes attacked him in a line. The Caucasian did not back down, though he was attacked by a line of men, he wanted to get and pick any of them, and tried to attack. 
If an LGD dog would be so foolhardily fearless, the first bear or wolf pack would kill him. So the Caucasians were bred to this direction and they created a kind of monster dog, a kind of military and guarding monster. And later, they were delivered to the West by thousands with this mentality, which was a kind of a lie or a ripoff. It was said that they are fearless, which is true. At the same time it was said that they are shepherd dogs, which was a lie. The layman did not know that a good LGD dog cannot be fearless or overly brave, but it should be cautious and attentive. As a new breed they became fashionable and popular in a short time, but after a while, their popularity collapsed because of the reasons I mentioned earlier. Compared to the other ancient LGD breed they were very aggressive and brave, and that is why many people bought and tried them. At the same time they did not function as shepherd dogs, which turned out immediately if they started to work with herds and packs. One of the main problems with the Caucasians is that, compared to other LGD dog breeds, mainly big males, hardly accepts and eager to challenge the primacy of the human as a pack leader, which can be very dangerous with such a powerful breed like them. If they feel weakness in the human owner, or were not punished for unwanted things in all occasions, they try to become pack leaders. As they are getting bigger and bigger, and getting to be more mature, many times they turn on their weak or unexperienced owners. One of my friends is a Caucasian breeder, and in every year he has a match with his big male Caucasian. And do not think of loud voices, let's think of a serious fight between them. He won, but the dog tried it the next year. In a normal situation, in everyday life, it can be a life-dangerous, extreme situation, for example for a normal citizen or an unexperienced owner. The other problem with the Soviet type of guard dogs, who are called Caucasian shepherds is, what we see in many cases, is that the territorial aggression, like defending their territory, which is absolutely normal with most of the shepherd dogs, extends and the target becomes other man or humans, even in the case, when they are out of their territories. It is quite common with the Soviet Caucasian dogs that the territorial aggression turns into overall aggression towards people, which can cause very dangerous situations. A dog like this turns into a loose cannon, and you cannot take them out of their territory anymore. The third problem is that these dogs have become too big, partly because they are not real working dogs anymore, or have never been, and partly because of the fashion waves and buyer requirements. In the gulags, in military compounds, or in jails, where they served and were formed to serve there, these dogs did not have to follow the herd for long miles every day. When they were tried out as shepherd or LGD dogs, it turned out that they cannot stand heat, they cannot stand a lot of movements, and they cannot be a useful member of a shepherd dog pack anymore. When they were tried in shepherd dog pack, in which LGDs can be really effective, they terrorized the other dogs. If they were taken into a weak pack, they destroyed it, if they got to a strong pack, the other dogs formed a league against them and killed them, because none of the other dogs could cooperate with them. This is how they failed as shepherd and LGD dogs in many places, and it is the human aggressiveness and dominance, what we have talked about was the reason why they failed in families or in suburban areas. So, the tough and very aggressive military guard dogs that was sold as a shepherd dog for a long time, was not a real shepherd dog and was too sharp, brutal and aggressive for the absolute majority of people or to become a family dog. In Europe, the Caucasian shepherd was replaced many times and occasions by the Central Asian shepherds, who came also from Russia. Although, of course, Caucasian shepherds are bred and kept by a circle in our days as well, they are less numerous and popular than some decades ago.